Hi and welcome to this short video which will show you how you can create tabs to hold subforms in Phoenix. You should already have watched the video on creating subforms. If not, we suggest you watch it now. We are going to create a tab in an aspect and then use those tabs for subforms. Sounds complicated? Well, it isn't really. Right, let's get started by creating a new aspect. We can do this by double clicking on the aspect button in the catalog section. We can now see the option select a base form. Again, we're going to use this form based on organizations. So we need to find organizations, double click and then select original form as a layout option. We now need to go to the object palette and select the tab control and draw the area that we want to use for the tab. So we click on the tab control button and drag and drop in order to create the tab. Next we need to create some tab names. So let's create some. In the first tab let's put people and in the second tab put opportunities. Great stuff! So far we have created an aspect and placed two tabs in it. Now we need to add some information into the tabs so let's create some subforms for them. By simply going back over the object palette and selecting subform in the tab box under people we select how big we want the subform to be by clicking and dragging it until we have the size we want. We now have the option of putting something in the first subform so now let's choose people. Press OK and this now prompts us with the auto layout. Instead let's choose custom and now we can select what we want to display in the people subform. If we click on the field icon from the object palette and place on the subform this will now take us to field definition. We can now choose the field names from the people by using a drop down list. We don't need to use them all, only the ones we want to have in the subform. So let's create a field and choose person's name from the drop down menu and select OK. We now need to repeat the same process for job title, email, mobile, office. Now that we have some fields in the subform it will be good to put some text objects next to the fields in order for people to understand them. By going back to the object palette we select the symbol T and create some text. For example, next to person's name field, let's type in name. This means that when we go back into runtime, we will be able to see the name followed by the empty field next to it. And that's it. Let's now move on to the second and final subform. Right click on the second tab and again let's create a subform within the second tab and drag and drop to fit the size of the tab. This time we're going to create an opportunity subform on the tab. Once more let's choose the layout as custom. We now need to place some fields into the subform. So let's click on the object palette and select edit box and create a field. We are now taken to the field definition where this time we will choose opportunity summary. We will need to repeat this for initial value, total value, opportunity notes, date created, salesperson. Finally, we will need to add some object text next to the fields.
And that's it. All we need to do is save this and go into runtime to see what has now been created. For each organization, we now have immediate access not only to the organizational details, but also the details of the people and the opportunities for that organization. Quick, easy and hassle free. That's it for this short video on tabs and subforms. Now go to the next in the series to enhance your knowledge and ensure you get the most out of Phoenix.